their professors, their academicians and professionals. Good morning. So let me introduce myself. My name is uh, Khawla Mabrouk. I am a Moroccan PhD student in National School of Commerce and Management in Hassan First University from Sad, Morocco. So I have the pleasure today of presenting in front of you my systematic literature review based on Prisma Protocol, which uh, revolves around social media engagement towards visual brand content. In order to uh, present or in order to treat my subject, I opted for the following plan. Introduction, research questions, that, databases and tools, Prisma methodology, results and conclusion. But before starting, it is better to uh, shed light on the context and the interests of the subject. First of all, nowadays there is trend toward visual-based social media platforms, like uh, consumers are more attracted by uh, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, more than uh, Twitter, for example. Secondly, consumers prefer image and video uh, based uh, content to text based content. Like, uh, especially videos, because they tell stories better and the information is easily understood. In addition, visual communication plays key role in engagement behavior on social media, like in terms of uh, likes, comments, shares. In terms of interest and from a, send, uh, a theoretical standpoint, we seek to provide a pertinent systematic literature review of the kind that summarizes all relevant earlier studies in order to uh, put all trends, gaps, and potential avenues of research in the hands of researchers because no study has systematically reviewed the current literature. But from a managerial interest, we aim to assist professional marketers to select appropriate visual brand content techniques and characteristics that help to increase customer engagement on various uh, social media platforms. So what are the research questions of current systematic literature review? We want to explore how brand's visual content is related to consumer engagement in the online context. What are the most prominent characteristics and types of visual content that affects consumer engagement? What additional factors are connected to this relationship? And what will the upcoming research focus be? So in order to conduct our systematic literature review, so many databases and tools were used. We used uh, six databases in order to obtain a broad coverage of the issue. So we used JSTOR, Springer, Google Scholar, Web of Science, Science Direct, and Scopus. And in order to facilitate the task, these tools were adopted. Zotero for bibliographic management, Covidence, for a systematic review, which is a, a specialized software in systematic literature review, and in vivo for encoding articles. So the following systematic literature review has followed or adopted Prisma methodology. So we choose Prisma protocol because review protocols uh, protect or help to protect against arbitrary decision-making during the review. Prisma protocol contains four steps, identification, screening, eligibility, and inclusion. The first step is identification, which is based on keywords and their synonyms. Uh, as it is shown here in uh, the table, so these synonyms are inspired from marketing literature review in our case. And of course, uh, we use the, the following search query in order to collect our 
uh, articles and papers. And it was uh, adjusted uh, according to each database uh, functionalities. Then the second step is screening. So we use for this step, uh, Cavident software, which is very useful. And uh, we started by uh, title and abstract screening. And after excluding irrelevant uh, articles, we moved to screening by full text. The third step is eligibility. And in order to ensure the quality of uh, journals and articles, exclusive and inclusive criteria were adopted. These are some examples. Then this is our final Prisma chart flow uh, that summarizes the whole process of uh, collecting and uh, selecting articles. We started with 1,955 articles in order to get in the end only 40 articles ready for analysis and discussion. The, the final step is inclusion. So for data extraction, we used in vivo for in, uh, encoding interesting paragraphs and uh, Excel for synthesizing results. Then in order to analyze our findings in depth, we used bibliometric analysis. These are some examples of bibliometric analysis tables. So it, it has been found that Instagram and Facebook are the most social media platform used. And then the majority of included articles used content analysis as a methodological approach. Uh, and here we can see that uh, the year uh, two, 2020 uh, has marked the topics through growth. Then we classified our findings in, in the form of summary tables in order to facilitate the analysis. And these are some examples of visual content characteristics that affect online consumer engagement. We, categorize, we categorized all the characteristics uh, in the form of video, image content, image form. Then these are the types of visual content that impact online consumer engagement. It has been found that informative and uh, entertaining content are the types of visual content that have the greatest uh, impact on online consumer engagement. Uh, then the strongest and the significant relationship between uh, uh, visual content and online consumer engagement has also some consequences and effects like trust, commitment, satisfaction. So as a conclusion, we must shed light on limitations and avenues of research. So uh, first of all, video content has received less attention than image content, like uh, the qualities of video content have not been thoroughly studied. Secondly, the most commonly used methodological approach is content analysis. Uh, however, the issue might be investigated by other approaches and in uh, very uh, in various numerous uh, ways. Then, while Instagram and Facebook are the most uh, are, are the social networks most explored. There are uh, Clubhouse and TikTok that must be taken into consideration. In terms of future research, it has been found that older content characteristics could influence online consumer engagement, like quality of content, presence of animals in videos. And then uh, future research uh, will be more richer and more fruitful with the addition of new variables. Uh, to the investigation of the correlation between engagement and visual content like culture, parameters, personal traits. And finally, our systematic review suggested some alternative research approaches like 
mixed method approach in order to uncover and explain uh, the, the issue more deeply. This ends my uh, presentation. Thank you very much for this opportunity and have a good day.